Hi, welcome to my video where today we're going to be talking about inscribed angles and inscribed polygons. Let's take a quick look. This is a very quick video. The facts are pretty, pretty quick. We're not talking about central angles anymore that are created from the center of a circle. We're talking about angles that are created actually from chords that intercept each other on the circle, which means on the edge of the circle. Okay, so... Um, it says the measure of the inscribed angle is equal to one half of the intercepted arc. So here's what this means. This angle, ABC, this angle here, the measure of that angle is equal to one half of the measure of this arc AC. So if I told you that this entire arc here was 100 degrees, then that means that angle is 50. If I told you that this little angle here was 40, that would mean that this big arc here is 80. That's the relationship between the two. Now, it says here that inscribed polygons, a polygon would be a polygon where each vertex of the polygon is on the circle. And here it says that triangle ABC is inscribed in circle D. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C, now think about it, it's a triangle, all of those angles would add up to 180. We know that. But now think about what I told you about inscribed angles. If A, at measure of angle A, is half of the measure of arc BC, and the measure of angle B is half the arc AC, and all of these angles are opening up to an arc that's worth a double of it. Well, think about it. If all the arcs inside the triangle add up to 180, then that would mean that all of the arcs measures add up to 360. So it works out with these ideas that we actually already know. Let's take a look at this diagram above. It says, if the measure of angle BCE equals 100, find the measure of arc EAB. So if BCE is 100, then the arc that it opens up to should be double it. So that arc is worth 200. If the measure of arc AC is 140, so let's see, arc AC, which we see opens up to this angle E, okay? If this arc is 140, then that measure of angle E is 70, okay? AEC is another name for it. Find the measure of a, B, D. Now, notice this angle is opened up to the diameter, and the diameter is a semicircle. And if I have a diameter of being a semicircle, it's 180 degrees, then this semicircle, that arc of 180 degrees, is directly opposite this inscribed angle, which would mean that angle A, B, D is half of it, which is 90. Next one. If EAD, so this little skinny angle here is 30 degrees, find EBD. Now, EAD, if that's 30, and I notice EBD is also inscribing, intercepting rather, the same arc ED. Notice that EAD opens up to ED, and EBD also opens up to ED. So if this is 30, then this arc is 60 which then means that this inscribed angle here is 30. If they open up to the exact same arc, then those measures of those angles have to be congruent to each other. Okay, and now the next one. If the measure of arc AEC, so this major arc here, AEC is 230, find the measure of angle AEC. So we've got two completely separate things that we're looking for here. This angle AEC opens up to arc AC. So if we know AEC is 230, then AC would have to be 360 minus 230, which is 130. And then this inscribed angle of AEC would be half of that arc. So if this arc AC is 130, half of it would be 65. Next one, if the measure of angle BEC is 45, find the measure of arc BEC. So if this is 45, then the arc BC would be 90. BEC would be 360 minus that 90, so it's 270. If the measure of arc AB is 80, find angle DAB. Okay, so A, if AB is 80, and I notice that angle DAB is this inscribed angle that's opened up to arc BD, and arc AB and BD make a semicircle, 180 degrees, if AB is 80, then arc BD is 100, and that's inscribed angle, 
would be half of 100, which is 50. If angle C is 95, find BAE. So angle C actually opens up directly to an arc BAE. If this is 95, then the arc is double it, which is 190. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom ones. Now, we have some inscribed polygons. In this first one, it says find X and Y. So here, I see that angle C is inscribed, um, is an inscribed angle, and it opens up to arc BD, which is a semicircle, which is 180. So that means C is 90 degrees, because this angle has to be half the measure of its inscribed arc, intercepted arc. So that means that X plus 4X plus 90 should equal 180. And that's really now a simple equation to solve. We end up getting x equals 18. So now if x equals 18, then y is the arc that's intercepted by this angle here. And y would be double the measure of this angle. So if I can figure out this angle by plugging in an 18, then I can double it to get y. So the measure of angle D would be 4 times 18, which is 72. And then this arc of y would be it doubled, which is 144. The next one. Now there's a very special world rule with inscribed quadrilaterals. It's the fact that opposite angles in a quadri inscribed quadrilateral are going to be equal to 180 degrees. All of the angles will add up to 360, but opposite angles will add up to 180. So 5x plus x plus 2 equals 180. You would be able to set that up and solve for x, which is about 29.7. And same thing for 6y and 3y. 6y plus 3y equals 180, and then y would equal 20. Last one, inscribed pentagon. So here we want to find the measure of angle x. x opens up to this arc OKL, and it looks like we don't know what OK and L are, but we do know the measures of the rest of the angles. So if this is 90 plus 50 plus 50, which is 190, then OKL, I can figure out, would be, <clears throat> okay, X is equal to half of the measure of 360 subtracted by this 140 that I have here. So if O K M rather, O K M opens up to X. It's 360 minus this 140, and then I would take half of it, and X would be equal to 110 degrees. Y opens up to O N L. I know the measures of all of these angles 90 plus 50 plus 50. I would take half of that and I would get y is equal to 95. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.